Meanwhile, Germany will, of course, be continuing to evacuate its own nationals from Afghanistan for as long as possible. Now, that's, in fact, the word from German Chancellor Angela Merkel. This is Germany's confirmed receiving an assurance from a Taliban negotiator that Afghans who have the right documents will, in fact, still be allowed to leave Afghanistan even after the Americans withdraw by the 31st of August. Now, alongside other American allies, including the United Kingdom, Germany has, in fact, been pressing for a longer window to continue the evacuations even past the deadline that is to end on the 31st of August. However, even after an emergency online summit of the Group of Seven Nations, US President Joe Biden has in fact stuck to the 31st of August deadline, although he did at one point of time indicate that he may consider extending the deadline. Merkel now says that work is now being done to find ways to continue to protect Afghans who had helped German institutions. Even after the end of the evacuations, one of the ways could, of course, be through the civilian use of Kabul airport. The Merkel has also called it the largest evacuation operation in the history of military, as more than 4,600 4, people from 45 different nations have been flown out of Afghanistan by the German forces, and almost half of them are women. Wir setzen die Evakuierungsoperation so lange wie möglich fort um auch Afghaninnen und Afghanen, die sich mit uns für Sicherheit, Freiheit, Rechtsstaatlichkeit und Entwicklung eingesetzt haben, das Verlassen des Landes zu ermöglichen. Das Ende der Luftbrücke in einigen Tagen, zu dem der amerikanische Präsident Joe Biden gestern auch in den G7-Beratungen kein neues Datum genannt hat, ich habe darüber gestern berichtet, darf nicht das Ende der Bemühungen bedeuten, afghanische Ortskräfte zu schützen, und den Afghanen zu helfen, die durch den Vormarsch der Taliban in noch größere Not gestürzt worden sind. Now, the Taliban are back in power in Afghanistan. Angela Merkel said that it is in fact very bitter, but we'll have to deal with the fact that the Taliban is now in charge of Afghanistan after 20 years of the US-led NATO forces having bombed the country. Merkel has also warned that the international community must not turn a blind eye to the danger that Afghanistan once again has become a bit of a breeding ground for international terror. Merkel has also urged the international community to maintain dialogue with the Taliban if it is to protect the improvements that have been made in the country during the two decades of NATO's deployment. Aber klar ist, die Taliban sind jetzt Realität in Afghanistan. Und viele Menschen in Afghanistan haben große Angst, davon zeugen nicht zuletzt die dramatischen Szenen am Flughafen. Diese neue Realität ist bitter, aber wir müssen uns mit ihr auseinandersetzen. The Germany's envoy Markus Potzel in fact took to Twitter where he has said that he had met with the Taliban deputy chief negotiator Sher Mohammad Abbas Tanikzai. Now Potzel was assured that Afghans with legal documents will in fact be allowed to continue to have the opportunity to travel on commercial flights even after the 31st of August. Meanwhile, in northern Afghanistan, through the narrow valley of the Hindukush Mountains, lies the Panjshir Valley. It is one of the last remaining pockets of resistance against the Taliban. Now, the anti-Taliban fighters and also the former Afghan security forces have vowed to resist the Taliban from the Panjshir Valley. Now, the Taliban have said they'll, of course, try and resolve this conflict through mediation and dialogue. However, there has been no breakthrough so far. In fact, the Taliban hopes that the fighters in Panjshir will lay down our arms and will also join the government in Kabul. Now, at this point of time, the options are very limited. The geography of Panjshir Valley offers a natural advantage. It also has a kind of a symbolic value in Afghanistan as the area that has resisted occupation by invaders for more than a century. Now, the anti-Taliban fighters have brought equipment, vehicles and weapons to supplement the arms and ammunition stockpile that's been built by the National Resistance Front. And this resistance is being led by the son of the assassinated military commander, Ahmed Shah Massoud. His son, Ahmed Massoud, has time and again urged the foreign forces, that is the Americans, to in fact come to his aid. And he continues to train his army by the banks of the Panjshir River for an upcoming battle against the Taliban.
Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.